Today is October 25th, 2023. And the date actually matters. Not because anything particularly relevant happened today, but because what I'm talking about today is how God has an appointed time for everything. So in Ecclesiastes, uh, we hear the preacher say, you know, there's a time for mourning and there's a time for rejoicing. There's a time for war and there's a time for peace. There's a time for happiness and sadness and, um, you know, there's a time for everything that you can imagine. There's an appointed time for everything. And it's not just emotions or, you know, types of behavior. There's also appointed times for events. Oftentimes, the things that God does happen at very specific times. I shouldn't even say often. They always happen at very specific times. Oftentimes, major events, such as this attack on Israel that just happened recently, happen on one of the biblical feasts, which are God's appointed times. Just like this one happened on the last day of the Feast of Sukkot. It was an appointed time, and God knew exactly when it was going to happen. He's outside of time, so he knows everything that's already happened and when it's going to happen. But for us who are living inside of time, we have to be very good stewards of our time. And we always have to be ready because things can change just like that. The appointed time comes and something is totally different. So just like, you know, Joseph was sold into slavery, spent many years in prison, years and years, and then instantly he was appointed to be second in command of one of the most powerful empires the world has ever seen. And same with Daniel, you know. Daniel was stuck in prison. And then suddenly someone remembered that he interpreted dreams. Oh wait, no, that was Joseph. But Daniel was... Uh, brought in for interpreting a dream and was, you know, given great power in uh, the kingdom because of his ability to do that. And, uh, you know, Moses spent 40 years in the wilderness before he even went back to Egypt to deliver the people. He spent 40 years. And then the appointed time came, and it was time for him to fulfill his calling. And so it can happen with good things. It can also happen with bad things. Um, I think of, you know, uh, Jesus and how he, he said, my time has not yet come. My time has not yet come. You know, he was always talking about his appointed time. And then suddenly it came. And it was time for him to face the crucifixion. 
And though that's an event that brought us redemption at the time, it was extremely difficult for him. But it came. Because there's an appointed time for everything. And so maybe you've been in a season of struggling. Maybe it feels like you're in a wilderness right now. If you don't give up, if you keep on persevering and don't give up, you may find that there's an appointed time where you're brought out of this wilderness season or, you know, uh, a role maybe. Maybe you're stuck in a job that you don't like and it feels like you're just barely getting by. If you don't give up, you may find an, that there's an appointed time for that to all just flip on its head. And suddenly you'll go from being stuck in a low position to being elevated to a very high position and a, an important position or given a, a special calling. Because if you are, there's an appointed time for it. And often when that's the case, it happens very quickly. So I hope that's a little bit encouraging and maybe con convicting too if you're not using your time well or you're not paying attention for the events that are happening. But either way, I hope it's helpful. And that's all I got for today. Peace.